Hi, this is CJ and this is the video to show you how you can go about creating the site-to-site -site VPN between two security gateways, checkpoint security gateways. So as you can see, that uh, we have a topology out here. This is the headquarters security gateway, this is the branch security gateway and we want to be able to create a VPN between them, right? Uh, before we do this thing, if you have experience with any other firewall and if you know that the encryption protocols the AES the, the 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 hashing protocols like the MD5 the SHA1 and the SHA I mean it it the, the process becomes absolutely simple right very 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 simple if you do not have I would recommend you just go through the, the chapter or or I know some information about the the encryption and hashing and all those things in the CCNA book uh, 640-553 by Catherine Packwood I mean now we have 640-534 uh, or something I'm not completely sure because I did my CCNA security using that book and I, it is pretty good right so you just go through a couple of chapters one is the primer on the VPN the other one is the the actual implementation although it's uh, all of the implementation is with respect to uh, I mean it's done through the SDM but it gives a, a good understanding of these um, uh, encryption and hashing protocols right so as you can see that we have to create a side-to-side -side VPN between these two so let me go back to the console H console and I need to show you a couple of things here First, you double click on the security gateway, respective security gateway, and you have to make sure that the IPsec VPN blade is checked on both, right? If you do not check this thing, you cannot create the site-to-site -site VPN. This is this is a must, right? The second thing that we have to do is click on topology. Under the VPN domain, we have to select the traffic that has to be encrypted, right? as you can see this one and this is for the headquarter I'm gonna exit out of this this is gonna be the branch as you can see under the general properties you will have the IPsec VPN blade checked and in the topology you have the branch internal address okay so you click on okay on these two alright so let's get back to this one this is the I we are in the firewall tab now we jump to the IPsec VPN tab right we have two type of topologies one is the the hub and spoke or just like a the host nodes are connected to the switch right everything is going through the switch if you want to reach from one like it's like a star topology and then we have a full mesh like a frame relay full mesh topology so we have to click on right click on this I'm gonna create the star topology right click on this click on star give a name to it I'm gonna use branch underscore office in the center this is the hub and the hub is the, the headquarter so click on add double click on the HSG now satellite is the branch right or the leaf click on add click on the branch okay center is done branch is selected done and then you have to click on encryption just go through these what kind of encryption do you want to add you want to add just the um, Ike 1 or Ike 1 and Ike 2. I'm just going to go with Ike 1, right? In the custom, uh, you can define, as you can see, we have, these are by default, right? And these are actually pretty good. So we have SHA 1 as the, as the hashing protocol. We have the AES 256 and integrity with the SHA 1 once again. These are very very powerful very strong encryption algorithms and very strong hashing algorithm so this is cool 
now you click on the advanced tab and in the advanced tab you have to click on the advanced VPN properties you have to click on this one we do not want to NAT the traffic between the between the headquartered internal gate internal network and the branch internal network we don't have to do that right and that's the reason why we have to check this particular check this box okay so once you have done it you can click on OK here you also have to understand one thing that uh, the the time be, time uh, has to be in uh, synchronized between the SMS the headquarters security security gateway and the branch security gateway absolutely if you have manually configured the time make sure that it's there but it is always recommended to go for the NTP I'm gonna show you how to configure NTP in the later videos it's pretty simple but I have already configured the time um, and I made sure that all three are actually in sync I mean you don't have to be um, like you know, in atomic level right in, in terms of uh, syn synchronization but as far as uh, you know the time goes I think the skewness could be about one minute or something that's that's okay that's okay so as you can see that the <coughs> the community has been created the branch office community now we're gonna be adding a rule above the stealth rule uh, yes above the stealth rule and we're gonna give it a name to it as the VPN rule. VPN rule, and we're going to be adding. Uh, let me see the network, the headquarter internal, the branch internal, because it's going to be a two-way communication, right? The branch here. Oops, sorry. We can drag it from here. Headquarter and branch. Okay. The service could be any. This has to be accepted. This has to be logged. Policy targets, since we have to install this policy on both, we can leave it like that. And now double click on this one. In the VPN, we have to make sure that only the connection between the VPN security is checked and click on this one and then we have to select the one which just created the community right we only want to select the community with that we defined because we in the future labs or in the f in, in a net production environment you might have two to three or more communities right so you want just like we choose the fire we select the firewall we have to select the the correct community so click OK click OK here and there you go we have the firewall rule in place and I believe that's about it and you click on save a couple of times save again yeah, it's gonna take some time this time around okay it's saved now click on this down pointing arrow and click on the click on OK to save it to push the policy alright so let's see it's pushing the policy right now usually takes about a minute perfect okay so now in order to be able to test this thing we're gonna go to the branch PC here oops and I 
am going to initiate a party to the SMS server. Mm, let me just do the firewall. Rather, SMS server. Let me, let me see. Okay, SMS server. So, SMS server was 192.168.1. I believe it was 1.1, 1 .1, yes, and then click on OK, if it's OK, it's working fine. We have the user as the admin, and the password, usually it takes a bit of a time to show us the password field, so just be patient. OK, password, perfect. So now we have logged into the SMS server. We don't have to do anything out here. We have to go back to the console and click on the Smart View Tracker. Uh, we can just close this right now. Let me bring up again Smart View Tracker. takes a bit of a time to come especially once you have joined the computer to the domain the console the console computer before that it would pop up straight away so be patient with it it is not stuck it will come up yeah like you see it's coming up right now okay now you have to do right uh, sorry <coughs> expand this one double click this one as you can see this one this traffic is encrypted can you see this the lock you can just double click on the lock to get more information about this super now let me just can show you here right the traffic source was this computer, the branch 192.168.2.1, the branch PC to the SMS protocol was this, and uh, it was encrypted, the traffic was encrypted, we have the Ike one, and we have the ESP S128 SHA, right, encryption method, everything is there, and then we click on this one, this is the key exchange. Right, this is where the key was installed. While we define when we define the the community, the the site to site VPN. Right, this is actually the main mode. You can just have double click on all these things, and you will figure out. That, click on the next one. It's again the key installation, second phase, the quick mode. Right, if you I mean you have to be you have to be well versed with the, these things, the main mode, the quick mode, the aggressive mode. Okay, in order to be able to understand or make head and tail of this thing right this is the security this is the SSH traffic itself right now let's let's talk about how you can go about troubleshooting these things uh, it should something goes wrong with it there's a very good command uh, called the VPN TU okay so we can we can run this command let us go to to the headquarter. I'm gonna log in here. We have to be running this command VPN TU. This is a very powerful command for troubleshooting. Okay, as you can see that it has presented us with few options out here. We can select one to list all the Ike essays see if it works this is the Ike essay we have the peer is 223.1 okay and in order to troubleshoot this thing uh, we can delete the phase 1 or the phase 2 keys for the given peer to reset the VPN and force the key exchange again right that actually tries to solve the problem I mean it has solved problem in my production network although we did it um, I mean it wasn't like it was a very bad issue with the with the VPN, but we wanted to reconstruct it 
obviously there's got to be a management uh, uh, a troubleshooting window for that so you just cannot uh, do these, these things in the production time okay so VPN TU is actually a very good command for troubleshooting side-to-side -side VPN issues and that actually brings us to the end of this particular video I just hope that uh, you liked it and thanks a lot bye bye